Another productivity enhancement or tool that I like to uh, talk about are the tool palettes. Again, something I find that are very underutilized in uh, most environments by most users. Um, the, tool, or the tool palettes can be um, accessed by uh, going to your view tab on your ribbon and then selecting the palettes, the tool palettes um, icon here. And that's going to open up this, this tool palette dialog box. Now, out of the box, you can see there's some dynamic blocks and some blocks and some predefined tabs and palettes. Um, so this makes it very easy to go out here and maybe grab a door or a window. There's some mechanical blocks. There's some electrical blocks. So there's a bunch of predefined objects that come with the software. But what I find the use for these, these palettes is setting up your own palettes to be um, more productive in some of your drafting and design. Now I work in the civil and surveying industry, so I've got some palettes that I predefined to kind of help maintain my CAD standards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go to customize palettes. And when I go to customize palettes, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to insert a new or import a new palette. Now I've got these, these predefined palettes that I have set up. So I'm gonna to go to my standards and in my standards under tool palettes, I've got this one called survey drafting. So I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna insert it uh, onto my, my palette. You can see that by importing it, I brought it in. Now, just so you, you understand, you can actually create your own. So if you right click anywhere on the tool palette window, you can select, oops, let me get out of that one for a second. Or if I right click over on the ribbon here, I can select on the, the sidebar of my, my window, I can say collect new palette. And I can put you know something like Mike's tools. So now I've got a, basically a blank slate where I can add my own tools. And I'll show you how that works here in a second. But let me show you the survey drafting palette that I've got set up. So ideally what this does, if I go back to home so you can see my current layer is set to zero, is by having this palette, I don't have to worry about what layer I'm set on. If I wanna start drawing some property boundary, I can come up here and I can choose the appropriate command whether I wanna draw a line, a polyline, or an arc or a circle. But if I select polyline and I start drawing it, you can see that it's automatically going to go and place that, um, that polyline on my boundary property layer. So what it's doing is it's automatically setting the layer current and letting me draw the line. So let's say I want to draw an easement through here. Now you can see my layer up top has changed to easement. So as I start drawing the object through, you notice that the layer and the line type and everything is automatically being um, assigned to that object. I know this, this blue one's kind of hard to see, so let's go ahead and just change that to magenta so you can see that a little bit better. Um, you can see now I want to come down here and add a building. So I could come in and draw in a building through here. All right, I know it's kind of an odd shaped building there, so let's undo that. Um, so we'll just come down, crossed, right there and close it. And so now I've got my building. But you can see it always goes back to my layer zero, but it's a, I'm able to um, kind of draw a bunch of objects without having to worry about what layer it's on because my tool palette's already set up to do that. Now, it's very easy to do this like I said, you just right click over here and you make a, a new palette. And then you go find a drawing that you've already done. It's got all your settings and stuff set up. So maybe your drawing template. And you simply select the object, make it, you know, highlight it so it's, it's selected. So it's got grips on it. And then you click it again and left click holding your left mouse button down. And then you simply drag and drop it over onto the palette. When it goes over on the palette, it says polyline. And if I was to do the same thing with the building, you'll see that that's also gonna say polyline. So what you need to do is simply right click over here and rename it and call this one, you know, easements. And right click on this one and call this building. And now you've got a tool palette that lets you simply draw and it sets the layers automatically for you. Once you have that set up, what you can then do, so you can store it for other, you know, give it to other users uh, within your company or, you know, 
migrated from uh, version of AutoCAD to version of AutoCAD. So if I come in here and uh, go to customize palettes again, I can come down and find my palette that I made. So there's my, my tool, tool palette right there. Simply right click on it and export it. And it's going to export it out and I'm going to save it as an XTP file. So then I can use that um, later on uh, <clears throat> down the road or import it like I showed you at the beginning of this uh, tip.